can't wait till Wednesday. All right, take those Bibles. Uh, turn to the book of Romans, Romans chapter number 1. And I'm going to read verses 16 and 17. Romans chapter number 1, uh, verses 16 and 17. Uh, I, I used this passage of Scripture about three months ago, I think it was, uh, and preached the message entitled, I, I'm Not Ashamed of the Gospel. Uh, but I want to go a little bit different direction here this morning uh, using some of the same Scripture. Uh, Romans chapter number 1, verses 16 and 17 here this morning. Romans chapter number 1, verses 16 and 17. When you find a place, we'll stand to your feet uh, to show honor and respect to the Word of God here this morning. Romans chapter number 1, verses 16 and 17. The Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. I want to bring a message entitled here this morning, The Importance of the Gospel. The Importance of the Gospel. Let's pray. Our dear and gracious Heavenly Father, God, we thank You again for this day. God, we thank You for Your blessings. We thank You, Lord, for uh, the good crowd that we have here this morning. God, we thank You for how You've blessed us. And, and God, I thank You, Lord, for how You've taken care of us. And God, I thank You, Lord, for the good uh, spirit, Lord, that I feel here this morning. God, I thank You, Lord, for the good songs and good fellowship. But, Lord, now it's preaching time, so, God, I pray that You help me. God, I pray that You give me power and wisdom, clarity of mind and clarity of speech, God. And I pray that You'll meet with us here today. In Jesus' name we humbly pray. Amen. 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 Everybody can be seated. The importance of the gospel. Let me read those two verses again, and then we'll get right into the message here this morning. The importance of the gospel. It says, uh, starting at verse number 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation Amen. to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Said that we're going to talk about this morning the importance of the gospel. How many folks here this morning uh, would agree with me uh, on, the, on this statement that the gospel is extremely important? Amen. 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 How many would agree with me this morning and say that the gospel is the most important thing uh, in our lives? Amen. 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 I believe that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is the most important thing and ought to be the most important thing to us. Amen. Yeah. It ought to be number yes. one in our lives. Amen. It ought to be the number yes. one thing that we talk about. It ought to be the Amen. number one thing that we think about. Right. It ought to consume our lives. Amen. 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 I've heard people say uh, just here recently that you ought to that, that, that there ought to come a time in your life that you ought to draw a, a line between you and serving the Lord. But I say fully on that. Oh. But our lives ought to be consumed Amen. with right. the gospel, and yeah. it ought to be consumed in serving Jesus Christ yeah. and sharing yeah. the gospel with others. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. The importance of the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. There's five things that I want to pull out of these two verses here this morning to talk about the importance of the gospel. Okay, Number one, it is the power of God unto salvation. Right. Amen. Amen. It is the power of God unto salvation. That's Look, right. you'll find that in verse 16. Amen. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Amen. Amen. The, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Amen. Not a one of us in here this morning would be saved and on our way to heaven if it was not for the gospel. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, we do not have the power to get ourselves into heaven. We do not have the power yeah. to save ourselves. Yeah. Amen. But yeah. God has all power. Yeah. And with Him all Amen. things are possible. Right. And God yeah. is able to save. He's not only able to save, but He's able to keep us saved. Amen. 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 It is the power of God unto salvation. You say, well, preacher, what exactly is the gospel? If you've ever come to a church service around here, you'll know exactly what the gospel is. Yeah. Take your Bibles to the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verses 1 through 4. Uh, those that come on Wednesday nights to the Bible study, you hear this every Wednesday night because it always finds its way into the Bible study. Amen. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Every preacher that preaches, I don't care what message it is that you're preaching, somehow you ought to be able to work it right back to the gospel. Amen. Amen. Hey, even if you're preaching on tithing, somehow you ought to work it back towards the gospel. Yeah. Amen. But it, the, the, the importance of the gospel, the gospel, it is the power of God unto salvation. 
1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, gives us the gospel in a nutshell. It says, Moreover, brethren, this is the Apostle Paul speaking here, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which ye also have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. Now listen here to verses 3 and 4. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. What is the Gospel? It is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ came, and He died for our sins. He was buried, and three days later, the power of God come across Him, Amen. and He walked out of that grave alive and well. Amen. Amen. And He's alive forevermore. He ascended up in the heaven on high, and He's there preparing a mansion for us, and He gave us a promise that He'd come back and receive us unto Himself. Amen. Amen. Good. That's right. The Gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. There is no way that anybody will be able to get to heaven unless they go by the way of the Gospel. Amen. Right. Amen. For the Amen. death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. John 14, 6 says this, Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Amen. Right. How Amen. do y'all agree with me on that this morning? Amen. They say, preacher, why are you talking about the Gospel again this morning, knowing that just about everybody in here claims to be a Christian and that they're, and that they're saved? Well, we need to be reminded yeah. of just how important the Gospel yeah. is. Amen. Amen. Hey, every Amen. one of us in here every time that we have altar call. And I say, is there anybody here that knows somebody, you got a friend or a loved one, a neighbor, a co-worker, a classmate that's lost on their way to hell based upon their testimony? And everybody raises their hands. Amen. 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 We need to be reminded just how important the gospel is. That's because right. the moment that we begin to kind of get relaxed on that, the moment that the, that the gospel is not number one in our lives, the moment that the gospel is not on our hearts and on our minds, is the moment that we'll stop witnessing for Him. The moment we'll stop sharing the Gospel with others. Man. And that's the moment that many people will be doomed for hell. Yeah. You know what? We send a lot of people to hell. Do you realize that here this morning? Right. We send a lot of people to hell because we don't share the Gospel you with know. them. Because the Gospel is not number one in our lives, yeah. how can it be important to them if it's not? it doesn't seem to be important to us? Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. It is the power of God unto salvation. The death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the gospel. Amen. Amen. I, I love I, I love the Romans road. And, 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 I, and I memorized many of those verses. And I, I'll tell you how I memorized these verses. I remember when I was a kid and was going to church. And I, I was in the RAs at, uh, at our church. I remember in particular I was going to Mid, uh, Midway Baptist Church uh, over in Gastonia. And uh, my grandpa was our RA director. And it was the boys group. And I had no idea at the time what he was doing, but I'm gonna tell you, he's a very smart man. He knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. We were uh, we were making wooden cars to race, and he made a ramp, and we was gonna put these wooden cars on there and race them. And of course, whoever uh, you know, car was the fastest, they won a prize. And, and uh, but the way we had to qualify our car for the race, just because we showed up and got a wooden car to paint and sand down and put the wheels on it, didn't mean we was gonna get to race it. We had to qualify our car. And Papa would give each one of the boys a Bible verse to memorize. And they had a specific time frame. They had a, I think they had two weeks to memorize that verse. And if they memorized that verse, they got to race their cars. Well, you know what? Every verse that he handed out to the boys was Romans Road verses. He was teaching us how to be soul winners at the same time still letting us be kids. Amen? And I thank God for that. Because of that, I've been able to person. I'm not bragging on me. I'm bragging on the Lord and what the Lord has done through people in my life. But because of that, I've been able to win many people to the Lord because somebody took the time to teach me the Romans Amen. road. Amen? Amen. And the Bible says in Romans 3.23, for, uh, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen? Hey, every one of us in here this morning, we all know that we don't deserve to go to heaven. Amen. Not a one of us in here deserve it because of the sin that's been in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, there's not a one of us in here that's good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We've all sinned at some point in our lives. Hey, we're still sinners today. And the only difference between us and the lost person is that we're sinners saved by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We know exactly what that means because of our sin. We can't get to where God is at. God the Father is in heaven. And I cannot get to where He's at because there's sin between me and Him. Amen? Yeah. 
Romans 5, 8. But God commends His love towards us even while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Even though that we were sinners. And even though we sinned against God. And though we deserve to go to hell. God loved us so much Amen. that He sent His only begotten Son to come down on this earth come and die on the cross for our sins God. to shed come His highest blood for us. Amen. Amen. Come on. How dare we, knowing that Jesus came, He who was innocent, He who knew no sin, became sin for us and died for us Amen. and willingly laid down His life for us. How dare us put the Gospel on the back burner. Shame on us yeah. for not making the Gospel important in our lives. Amen. Amen. Everybody Amen. living this morning? Amen. 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 The importance of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. The Bible says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hey, we deserve to go to hell. Do you realize that here this morning? Man. If we got what we deserve, we'd bust hell wide open. That's but right. God loves us so much that He sent Jesus to pave the way for us to be able to go to heaven. Thank Amen. God that He loves us that much. Yeah. Do you love the Lord here this morning? Yeah. If you love Him this morning, then you'll make the gospel important. Amen. Yeah. The right. gospel will be the most important thing in your life. Matter of fact, the gospel will dictate what you do in your life. Amen. Good. And the direction Amen. that you go. That's if right. it's important, then you'll make then God will be number one. Yeah. And you'll want to serve God and give God all that you have. But the moment that the gospel is put on the back burner, on. you'll go the way of the world. Yeah. You'll turn the Lord off of the church. Pretty you'll quit serving God. Yeah. You'll quit getting in his word. That's right. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Testify. Right. Come on. The gospel is the most important That's thing right. that we have. Amen. Amen. You're right. It is the power of God unto salvation. Not only that, look back at verse 16 again. Romans chapter number 1, verse number 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Now notice what it says here. To everyone, to everyone. Does it say some? Or just a few? No. It says to everyone that believeth. And then notice what it says here. To the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Hey, if you're not a Jew, you're a Gentile, right? Yeah, and that's what right. the Bible's saying when it's talking about the Greek there. It's talking about the Gentiles. Amen. It says to everyone that believeth. Number one, the importance of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Number two, it is for everybody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's yeah. for everybody. Man. You know, you think about all the different religions in the world. It's not for everybody. Yeah. Come on. Amen. You're right. Amen. Islam's not for me. Come on, I just there's nothing about cutting people's heads off that's appealing to me. Come on, amen. Yeah, y'all with me? Amen. Right. amen. I, I could care less about blowing myself up for seventy two virgins in heaven. Amen. I love my wife. I'll stay alive and spend the rest of my life with her. Amen. Right. Hello, y'all with me? Islam has nothing for me. I could care less about it. Amen. 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 I, I, you know what? I want to tell people about the goodness of God and how Jesus loves them and how He died for them amen. so that they could live forever. Yeah. Instead. Their God and their belief system tells them that they need to die for their God. My God died for me. Yeah. That's how much He loves me. Right. Amen. Islam's not for everybody. Right. Buddhism's not for everybody. Yeah. Right. I mean, Buddhism's not for everybody. All these different religions <coughs> in the world, these these different religions uh, 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 amongst different tribes and nations, it's not for everybody. But Christianity is for everybody. Yeah. It's Amen. been carried around the world. Matter of fact. The Lord Jesus Christ Himself gave a command to His disciples to go into all the world, amen, amen. and to share the gospel with every creature, amen. Right. It's for everybody. Amen. The importance of the gospel is the power of God unto, uh, unto salvation. It is for everybody. I heard this a long time ago, and I love this statement right here. You cannot out -sin God's grace. Amen. Isn't that a blessing here this morning? Amen. Isn't that a blessing to know that you cannot out -sin God's grace? Amen. Hey, and, and these other different religions, there's things in Islam that disqualifies you from becoming a Muslim. Amen. There's things in these other religions that disqualifies you from being part of their religion. But there is absolutely nothing that disqualifies a person from becoming a Christian. If they put their faith and their trust in Jesus Christ, yeah. they're saved and they're a part of the family of God. Amen. 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 You cannot out -sin God's grace. Amen. There's no racial divide in the gospel. Y'all with me? Amen. There's no racial divide. That's one reason why I love Glory Bound Baptist Church. Amen. You look around our church, you'll find black people, white people, Hispanic people, Asian people, Indian people, amen. Uh, you name it. If there's any kind of people, they're here, amen. Yeah, amen. 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 If they're amen. not here, they'll be here next week. So y'all go right. back and see them, amen. 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 I love that. That's the way, it's, the way it ought to be, amen. 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 
Amen. And that's yeah, the way heaven's going to be. Yeah. There ain't no white people heaven. Come on. There ain't no black people heaven. Amen. There ain't no, there ain't no Hispanic heaven. <coughs> ain't no Asian heaven. Yeah. Ain't no Indian heaven. Y'all with me? Amen. It's just heaven. Amen. 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 There's no racial divide when it comes to the gospel. There's no language or cultural barrier either. Jesus died for everybody. Amen. Amen. Shed his life's blood for everybody. Amen. He's offered the free gift of salvation to everybody. Amen. Amen. It's for everybody. There's no discrimination in the gospel. Amen. You know, it's sad we're living in an age now where it seems like that the discussion of discrimination is, is, is just all we talk about. You know what? I, I, I watch on the, the news and, and stuff, and we've been talking about a lot about this HB2 stuff with the transgender bathroom stuff. And I see these different so-called preachers on the news and online, and they talk about how that the church shouldn't discriminate from, against these people. We're not discriminating against, discriminating against these folks. They're sinning against them. They're, they're, they got sin in their life. That's right. Amen. That That's sin's right. going to lead them to hell. We're just trying to tell them about Jesus and how Jesus can wash that sin away. No. Amen. 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 You cannot out sin God's grace. It's for everybody. There's no racial divide. There's no language or cultural barrier. There's no discrimination in the gospel. It is for everybody. Look back at verse 16 again. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Look, uh, number three, here this morning I said the, I'm talking about the importance of the gospel. Number one, it is the power of God unto salvation. Number two, it is for everybody. Number yeah. three, it is the key to righteousness. It is the key to righteousness. Look back at verse number 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. Y'all see that? Man. Talking yeah. about the gospel. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed revealed. The importance of the gospel. Why is it important? It is the power of God unto salvation. It is for everybody and it is the key to righteousness. Do you realize here this morning that the Bible says that there are none righteous no not one. Amen? Yeah, right. There are none righteous no not one. Hey before we got saved we could not be righteous. Amen? Yeah. Because our rights what we consider to be righteousness is as filthy rags in the sight of God. Right. See, there's a lot of people that think that their right living will get them into heaven. Well, if I've got church membership, that'll get me into heaven. Hey, if, 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 I, if I give money to the church or I give money to charities, then, then that'll get me into heaven. Well, I'm, a, I'm all around in general a good person. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't cuss. I, I don't get in arguments or fights with people. I'm just generally a good person. Well, generally, you're going to go to hell. Amen. Come on. Because your good works and your good deeds and your, what you consider to be righteousness is as filthy rags in yeah. the sight of God. Amen. Right. Right. We were not righteous and could not be righteous until the moment we put our faith yeah. and our trust in the That's gospel. Right. Amen. That's right. So these folks out there that are dependent on themselves and dependent on what they can do to get them into heaven, they're going, they're going the wrong way. Amen. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Amen. Amen. Hey, there's a lot of people that they consider themselves to be good people. And guess what? There's a lot of good people burning in hell right now. That's right. A lot of good people burning in hell. Yeah. But their righteousness, what they consider good, is as filthy rags in the sight of God. That's good. Right. The gospel is the key to righteousness. There are none righteous, no not one. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. I want you to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse number 21. 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse number 21. Talking about the Lord Jesus Christ here. For He hath made Him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. There is only one way for us to become righteous in the sight of God, and that's to be covered by the blood Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right. Hey, when somebody's not saved, when God looks at that person that's lost, when He looks upon them, all He sees is their sin, He sees their wickedness, He sees their faults. But when, when, when God the Father looks at me, when He looks at my crew, you know what He sees? He doesn't see the sin. On, he doesn't yeah. see the wrongdoing. Yeah. He doesn't see the faults and failures and shortcomings that I have. Yeah. But when God the Father looks at me, I've been saved and set free. Yeah. When He looks at me, He sees the blood. Amen. Yeah. And He said He's righteous. He's been redeemed. He's yeah. been set free. He's been changed. 
Amen. 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 Because of what the Son did on Calvary Amen. 2,000 Amen. years ago. Amen. 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 I have been made righteous because of the Gospel. Amen. I was not righteous. I was not right. And I was not living right. And my, my righteousness was as filthy rags. And what I considered righteousness was going to lead me to hell. But the day that I put my faith and trust in the gospel of Jesus Christ, in the death, the burial, and the resurrection, amen, I got washed by the blood, amen. amen. And when God looks at me, He sees the blood and He says He's been made righteous. Amen. That's right. That's good. It is the key to righteousness. The importance of the gospel. Why is it important? It's the power of God unto salvation. It is for everybody. It is the key to righteousness. Number four, it's the beginning of faith. Yeah. It is the beginning of faith. Look at verse 17. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Yeah. Well, we wasn't just. We wasn't right before we got saved. Yeah. But the moment that we got saved, we were, we were justified. We were made righteous because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And from that moment forward, we can walk in faith. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? The gospel is the beginning of true faith. Yeah. If you listen to this, if you can trust Christ to save your soul, then you can trust Him in all things. Amen? Yeah. If you can trust Jesus Christ to wash your sins away, Write your name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Prepare a mansion in glory for you and to give you the promise that He's going to receive you unto Himself and that you're going to be in His presence for all eternity. If you can trust Jesus Christ to do that, then why can't we trust Him to pay our power bill? Hello? Yeah. Why can't we trust Him to put food on the table? Yeah. Why can't we trust Him to make sure that we stay healthy and strong? Amen? Yeah. Why can't we trust Him that He's going to supply all of our need according to His riches and glory? Amen? Yeah. If we can trust Him to save our souls, then we ought to be able to trust Him in all things. Amen. Amen. Taking that step to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior yes. is that first step in faith. Right. I you trust you, Lord, to save me. And if you can save me, Lord, I give you my whole life. I trust you with everything. Amen? Amen. 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 That's good. Lastly here this morning, it is something not to be ashamed of. Amen. The importance of the gospel. Why is the gospel important? It is the power of God unto salvation. It is for everybody. It is the key to righteousness. It is the beginning of faith. And lastly here this morning, it is something not to be ashamed of. Amen. Look at verse 16 again. Romans, Romans chapter 1 verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen. 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 I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. 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 I'm not ashamed of what Jesus Christ has done for me. I'm not ashamed to tell the world that I'm saved. I'm not ashamed to tell the world that I'm a Christian. Hey, when it's not popular to say that you're a Christian. When it's not popular to say that you're a Bible-believing independent Amen. Baptist. Come when on. it's not popular Amen. to say that I stand on the King James Bible. Yeah. When it's not popular to say that I'm going to stand for Jesus and I'm going to shun the world and I'm going to live and do right. Hey man, when it's not popular, it's alright. I'm still not ashamed of it. Yeah, right. Right. Amen. The world can despise me. They can hate me. Right. They can ridicule me. They can call me names. Come they on. can make fun of me. Yeah. Hey, they can even try to destroy my body. But that's alright. They can destroy the body, amen. Come but on. Jesus Christ has got my soul. Yeah. And they can't yeah. have that. Amen. Come on. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ amen. because I'm saved. I've been set free. I've been redeemed. Amen. amen. I know I'm going to heaven. Amen. My name's been written down in the Lamb's book of life. Jesus Christ has given me everything yeah. and I owe all my all to Him. Amen. 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 I'm not ashamed of it. You know what? You to, if you're not ashamed of it, you ought to be willing to go out in public and tell people that you love Jesus. Amen. I don't understand these people that say that they're Christians and that they're saved and then when they go out in public, they go out to eat at a restaurant. They can't bow their heads and pray out loud and let everybody know. You know what? I do it on purpose. Come on. That's right. Yeah. Amen. If you ever go out to eat with me, y'all know exactly what I do. We've had groups before go out to eat together. Tell everybody, all right, everybody, quiet. It's time to pray. And I pray out loud like this. I dear and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this. And I go through the whole prayer. You know why I do that? Because Jesus Christ saved me. Yeah. He washed my sins Amen. away. Amen. And I'm not ashamed of what Jesus Christ Amen. did for me. Right. And I want others to know that I am a follower of Jesus Christ. And that He set me free. Amen. Amen. Hey, what Jesus did for me, He can do for me. Amen. 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 Am
Yeah. But if right. I'm ashamed of it, if I'm ashamed of it, then why, how how's that going to help anybody else want what I have? Yeah. You're right. If I'm right. ashamed of it. Yeah. Yeah. Look right. at First Peter chapter three verse fifteen. First Peter chapter number three verse fifteen. The Bible says, "But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts." Listen to this. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You know what? We ought to be ready Man. to give an account of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Amen. Amen. Right. How many of y'all ever heard that old statement people say that they were ready at the drop of a hat? Man. Amen. You know what this is saying here? This, this scripture in 1 Peter 3.15? You ought to be carrying a hat around with you ready to drop it on your, on your own. Amen. So you can tell some, hey, Brother Kurt, hey, good to see you. Let me tell you what Jesus did for me. Amen. He came right. and he died for me, shed his blood. I'm saved and going to heaven. He can do the same for you. Right. Hey, brother, you know what? Hey, I want to tell you what Jesus Christ You know what? This is the way we ought to be. Amen. You know what? We ought to be so excited about Jesus Christ that we make the average Christian sick of their stomach Come when they look at us. Right. Hey, man. Amen. 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 Yeah. Everywhere that we go, when you go to Walmart, yeah. hey, I saw something on YouTube uh, uh, sometime yeah. last. It was last week. There was a preacher that was in Walmart, and all of a sudden, I don't know what caused it, but I, maybe somebody asked him a question, and he was living up to First Peter three fifteen. But all I know is on what I saw was he stopped right there in the middle of the dairy section, and he started preaching. He said, "Jesus is the only way to heaven," yeah. and he began to preach the gospel. And he had a crowd of people gathered around him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. That takes boldness right yeah. there. Amen? Right. He's willing, willing to proclaim the gospel in Walmart. Amen? Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, if I were to go to Walmart and start preaching, that would be the biggest congregation I'll probably ever have. Amen? <laughs> Amen? I ought to go to Walmart and start just preaching. Amen? Yeah. Well, you know what? I think I'll take Sam and John with me. And we'll take two collection plates. And you go down to dairy, you go down to the meat section, we'll take up an offer and I'll preach in the bread aisle. Amen! Amen? Amen. They, get, they can get the... They can get the, the the bread of life, oh, amen. Yeah. And if they're babes in Christ, they get the milk and off the dairy aisle. I and mean, then some of them, boy, some of them get the meat of the word. Come on, amen. Amen. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's something not to be ashamed about. Amen. We want to be willing to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ everywhere that we go. Amen. Amen. Look at Matthew chapter number five, verse sixteen. Matthew chapter number five, verse sixteen, talking about not being ashamed of the gospel. Matthew chapter number 5, verse 16, very familiar verse here. The Bible says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You know, we ought to let our, let our light so shine before men. Now, we sing that little kid song, This Little Light of Mine. We teach it to our kids, This Little Light of Mine. I'm going to let it shine. You know what? I think we ought to start seeing that in, in services more often. Oh, I think some adults need to start listening closer yeah. to what that's yeah. saying. That's right. yeah. You know what? This little light of mine, Jesus Christ saved me. Yeah. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to hide it under a bushel. I'm not going to hide that from other people. But I'm going to let people know what Jesus Christ has done for that's me. Right. Amen. And I want you to look at Acts 1 8. <coughs> Acts chapter number 1, verse 8. Jesus Christ, this was the last thing that He said to his, to his disciples before He ascended up into heaven. He said, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all of Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Yeah. Jesus Christ was giving His disciples a command, and that command still holds true to us today. Man. He was Amen. telling His disciples to go into their local areas. Notice there that He mentions Judea, Samaria, and Jerusalem, this was their local areas. He said, reach them first and then reach out into the world. Amen. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you know what? Most churches nowadays, they have given up on their local area. They're not looking outside the church walls. Right. They can care less about their, their town. They can care less about their county, their state, their country, or the world. They're saved and they're sitting on their blessed assurance and that's it. Amen. Oh. Not us. I mean, if you're Amen. in the Lord of Almighty Church, we know that we're saved and we're on our way to heaven. Amen. And we know that we've got to reach Kings Mountain, Gastonia, Bessemer City, yeah. Belmont, Mount Holly, and Clover, all the surrounding areas. And once we've reached everybody there, then we extend out from there and take the gospel around the world. Amen. The only way that's going to happen is if we're not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. 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 We will not be ashamed of it. Right. At some point you've drawn a line in the sand between you and God. You better get out, take your foot, and rub that line out of the sand. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 If there's something coming between you and God, get rid of it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. Yeah. If there's something driving away between you and God, get rid of it. 
quit being ashamed. Yeah. Because you know what the Lord Jesus Christ said? He said, if we'd be ashamed of Him, He'll be ashamed of us before the Father. Amen. That's right. I don't want the Lord to be ashamed of me. Uh -huh. Nope. Mm -hmm. When I stand before the Lord, the judgment seat of Christ, I want to be able to look the Lord eyeball to eyeball. And He'll tell me, well done, son. Well Amen. done. You served me well. You did what you're supposed to do. Amen. Amen. I don't want to stand before Him and He'll tell me, you were ashamed of me? Look at all those people over there. Their blood is on your hands. Amen. They're going to hell because you didn't tell them. Amen. I don't want their blood. That's what the Bible says. That's right. We don't share the gospel with people and warn them that there is a hell and let them know there's a way of escape and that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. Their blood will be on our hands. I don't, want, I don't want anybody's blood to be on my hands. Nope. I want to stand before the Lord and the Lord say, you did good. You ran well. You finished your course. You ran your race. You did good. I'm proud of you, son. That's what I want. Amen. This stuff in this life means nothing. nothing. Amen. It means nothing. Amen. The material possessions we have, they're nothing. Yeah. The money that we think we might have, they're nothing. The clothes, the cars, all the everything, they're nothing. They'll rust, they'll rot, they'll yeah. decay, they'll vanish away. But the only thing that matters, and the only thing that will remain, is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He Amen. died for our sins. He was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Right. That's all that matters for That's us. That's right. That's all that matters in life. I know that we got things we have to do to provide for our families, but I promise you, if you put the gospel first, God will make sure that you got all that you need. Amen. He shall supply Amen. all your need according to His riches. Amen. Amen. Put God first. Put the gospel first. You know why? Because it is important. Amen. It is the most important thing Amen. that there is, yeah. is the gospel. Amen. Let's share it with everybody that we can. Let's take these gospel tracts and get them out, pass them out to people, invite them to church, tell them that Jesus is the way to heaven. Amen. They can argue with you. That's fine. You get them the gospel and leave it up to God and let God do the rest. Amen. Amen. I, I will say this here this morning. I am proud of going about Baptist Church. I'm proud of the ministries that the Lord's allowed us to have. We've been able to reach a lot of folks. Yeah. We may be small in number, but we've reached a lot of folks. Yeah. I, think, right. I think in the last, last few months, I think that we have gotten out probably close to 5,000 truckers' tracks. We passed that all around this country. Yeah. 5,000 tracks. Every track has the gospel in it. You yeah. know what that means? We got the gospel in 5,000 hands, possibly more. Yeah. Not yeah. counting our church tracks that we pass out and hand out. And I want to challenge everybody to do what I've started doing. This is the easiest way to witness. I just started taking these tracks and getting those long envelopes. And I just put the track in the envelope, put a stamp on it, and send them out through the mail. I've started here on Dixon School Road. I've covered the first half last week. I'm going to cover the second half this week. And I'm going to pick me out another street. And I'm going to write down all the addresses. And I'm going to put it on there to current resident and mail it out to them. And they've got an invitation to the church, a list of all of our ministries, and they got the gospel presentation in there. Amen. That's the easiest way. That's right. I want to encourage everybody. To, if everybody would do that, there's no telling how many people would come to know Christ as their Savior. Amen. It's easy. A lot of people think serving the Lord's hard. No, it's not. We make it hard. You know why we make it hard? Because we try to keep one foot in the world yeah. and one foot in the church. That's right. Yeah, that's right. right. You're right. But when you make up your mind that you're going to be all in for Jesus Christ, oh, it's easy. Amen. It's easy serving Him. Amen. Man. Every head bowed, every eye closed. I'm looking around here this morning. Just how important is the gospel to you? I don't even have to ask this question. I know the answer to it. Probably everybody in here knows somebody that's lost on their way to hell. Whether it be a relative, a friend, co-worker, classmate, neighbor, an acquaintance, whoever it may be, everybody here knows somebody. Probably everybody here knows multiple people that are lost on their way to hell. If the gospel is important to you, I encourage you to come to this altar this morning. And pray for that person. Pray for those people that are lost. Why don't you come this morning? Ask God to give you the strength, the courage, the wisdom that you need to be able to share Jesus Christ with them. Maybe you got somebody specific weighing heavy on your heart. Why don't you come and bring them to Jesus? Maybe they live far away from you and you. 
you don't get to see them on a regular basis, why don't you come and ask the Lord to send somebody by their way? Hey, you know what? There's Christians all around this world. There's Christians all around this country. There's some good Bible-believing Christians around this world, around this country. And I believe that there's power in prayer. And I believe that anything that we ask of God, we have the faith to believe that He'll do it, that He'll do what we ask. I believe you come and pray and believe it for God to send somebody by that person's way to share the gospel with them. I believe the Lord will do it. Why don't you come? Why don't you come and pray that the Lord soften their hearts and prepare their hearts for that gospel message so that the ground will be right to receive that seed to be planted in their heart. I've got lost family members, some cousins of mine. I want to see them get saved. I reach out to them and I invite them. They've heard me preach. I still reach out to them and, and invite them to come to church and witness to them. I believe. Some people would have done give up by now. But I believe in my heart that if we stay persistent in sharing the gospel, we may not be able to win them all, but we'll win a great many of them to Jesus. We plant the seed, let God water it and give the increase. There's no telling what can be done. All things are possible with God. That family member of yours is lost. I believe that you can come back next Sunday and say, you know what? They called me and told me that they trusted Christ as their Savior. You know what? The gospel's important. Maybe you got somebody that you love and care about that's backslid. They've, they're saved, but they've kind of drifted far off from God. They've grown cold on the Lord. Why don't you reach out to them and just remind them of how important the gospel is. Remind them of what Jesus has done for them. That might warm that cold heart. Might thaw it out. Make them realize just how important the gospel is and what Jesus has done for them. The gospel is so important. It is the power of God unto salvation. It's for everybody. It is the key to righteousness. It is the beginning of faith. And it is something that we should not be ashamed of. Thank God for the gospel of Christ. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the resurrection. I'm glad that I'm saved and I know that I am. Thank God for that. I name the grace of the Father, Lord God, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for this time we've had to come together. Thank you, Lord, for the good singing, the good fellowship. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to stand and preach your word. God, I pray that this message today, Lord, I pray that it was a blessing to everybody here. God, I pray that we take what we heard here today and pass it along to others to be a help and a blessing to them. Lord, I pray that you keep us safe as we travel home. Help us to make it back here at the next appointed time. In Jesus' name we do humbly pray. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. We're dismissed. Don't forget we got service tonight at 6 o'clock. Rock. Rock.